Hey Dan, you're on my you're on my video. Your uh your voice is on my video of my airplane. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <I'm on. laughs> Good anyway, so have a great day. You're busy. Yeah. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Line. Great day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. So here's the receiver and the antenna. It'll go here, and the antenna will be cut into the wing. Uh, the servos are here. They're going to go in these little slots, and they will activate uh, ailerons. Uh, I guess you call them elevons because they're elevators and ailerons. Here's the battery lead. I put the battery in already, right there. And uh, there's some carbon carbon fiber spars underneath. The main glue is this 3M Super 77. It's a spray adhesive. It's perfect for foam. Here are the cores that was the wing was cut out of. Uh, they're cut out at the shop and sent to you as half blocks. And you put them together uh, with the foam adhesive and then the, the far carbon fiber. And then the servos go in. Then you uh, spray the whole thing and tape it with strapping tape and then colored tape and then attach the uh, elevons and then it's a very cool combat plane it's very strong uh, these carbon fiber spars make it very strong because they don't bend and they're in there with the with the adhesive too so I'll let you sh see how it looks later bye bye so there's the receiver in its little hole and all the wires uh, this antenna will go down the wing I've cut a slit for it and you just put it down inside the foam. Foam is so cool to work with. I have to cut this switch in here. I'll put a switch and then here's the battery charging lead. I've got to have that available. I'll make some kind of door or hatch so I can close it when it's in flight. I've got to cover this with the original plug. I've got to cut a piece off it and then cover it up just like I did with the battery. These guys will just be flush and I'll put tape over them. So I've got the strapping tape on now and all the radio gear in place. That uh, This is a uh, fiber tape. Of course you have to spray the, the wing with uh, the adhesive first so the tape will stick. And then you need wax paper, of course, to lay things on when it's wet because it'll be very sticky. Got my switch in place. Uh, there's my charger. I've got to get the other flap for that. That's where I'll be charging. And the servos. The antenna goes off the end and it'll drag in the wind. I could cut it in and uh, make it come back again, but it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to put the color tape on next. Hey, so I got some color on the thing and I covered the the foam. Wherever there was a place I wasn't quite proud of with the color bleeding through from underneath, I put a, a, a logo. I wouldn't normally use those, but they were good at hiding a couple things. And so I used a blue, white, and red. And there's the bottom. Usually bottoms are darker and tops are lighter. That way at a distance you can tell what uh, direction you're looking at. Still have to put the side flaps on and the elevons and then hook up the servos. And, but then I'll be all set to balance it and try it. And so there are the elevons. Uh, cut them out and sanded the front edge to be a 45 degree angle. And sprayed them with adhesive and then taped them and trimmed the edges. Anyway, that's next to hook those to the servos, the servo arms, which are there. So I've got the ailerons on. Uh, they're taped top and bottom so they have a... I mean, it's there's no air can get through the hinge. And now I have to put on the control horns and connect them to the servos.
starting to look pretty good. Here's the bottom. And then have to put the side fins on and we can fly, maybe tomorrow. This is a still photo? Oh, no, it's on at the moment and it's a video. Oh, all right. And, uh, the wind is in the wrong way, it's coming at me here. Maybe just for fun, just to show Dan, I'm going to throw it in your yard here. Okay. Of course, the dog will chase it and chew on it. Uh. This wind noise here becomes a little too irritating. So I'm facing the southwest there, and the wind is not coming up the hill. <laughs> so I'm only throwing this thing for your sake, Dan. I throw it out, there it goes to the right, and then I circle it, it comes around to the left. But it's falling rapidly, and there's no lift out there. Here it comes. And I was able to make it come back at least in my direction. But. Uh, it's a lot more fun, I can sure you can imagine. If the wind was coming toward that hill, the updraft would hold that airplane up as long as you like, and you go fly, 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 and go higher, higher, higher. But anyway, so that was just for you. I should say, of course, that this is Bernard Mulberg's property. Dan, you remember this. This is the view from his, uh, from the left of his shop, his shop's to the right here. Beautiful place, and that's Bernard taking the video for me. He's a great guy. Right, bye-bye.